What's up everyone? Um, I'm going to show you my top four favorite McCartney albums. Um, after reviewing all of them extensively, I've narrowed it down to my uh, four favorite. Okay, so... Start off with Tug of War. This has always been a favorite of mine. Ever since the first time I heard it, it's everything you want in a Paul McCartney record. Tug of War, the song itself, that, that, that's uh, definitely on my top five of favorite McCartney songs. Um, Take It Away is another one. It's a great album. The song he did for John here today. Um, all of them. I, I like all of them. So uh, th This list is in no particular order. These are just my top four. Next we got Chaos and Creation in the Backyard. Um, now when you listen to this album like for the first time, it, it pretty much, well even now, got like a depressing feel to it. It's, I mean, there's some songs that are perky, but it just has like a, it's a downer, low, low feeling to it. Um, and the funny part is, uh, I got this I got this album the day after my dog died, back in 2005, and I had my dog for 11 years, so listening to this the day after did not cheer me up, but it's a great album nonetheless, I love the songs, my, my favorite on here is um, Too Much Rain, Friends To Go, and uh, probably uh, Jenny Wren, which is fantastic, it reminds me of Blackbird. And this one, this one, I, pretty much almost on my number one list, Driving Rain. Uh, a lot of people have mixed feelings about this. Some people dislike it, some people like it a lot, but I love this record. Um, I first bought it on CD when it came out, and uh, it, it, to me it was, it was really cool. And you know, I was going through a certain uh, phase of my life, and, and these songs just really came alive to me. Uh, my favorites on here is uh, Lonely Road and Magic and uh, Your Loving Flame, which is the best song on here. Um, and for the vinyl, the vinyl was pretty hard to find, but I got it like five, four or five years ago on uh, online for like, I think $100, but it was worth it. And then last but not least, number four would be off the ground. I will admit the first time I, I heard this I wasn't I wasn't that uh, pleased with it but um, when you really uh, observe it it's, it's really uh, really cool. Um, I always liked it a lot better than Flowers in the Dirt which really didn't speak nothing to me but this is a good song and, and so are all the thousands of uh, outtakes that should have been on here but weren't. So hopefully they release that officially one day. I mean, I have I have the bootlegs and stuff, but that'd be nice. So hopefully when the archive collection comes out on this, it'll be included. Uh, next is something uh, I ordered, and it just recently came in. Um, it's the Beatles anthology cassettes, but um, it's in the long box and it's sealed when it came out in 1995 so I was happy to get all three of them that's volume one here's volume two and it still has the uh, the hype sticker on it along with the the store sticker see that so, it's in good condition too plus Here's volume three, again with the hype sticker. Uh, so it was pretty cool that I was uh, able to get all three of them all at once. So, 
because I have like basically everything anthology and uh, I already had the anthology cassettes because I collect things in every format. I had the, these three cassettes but they were you know the hard case and they were already out of the box I wanted it with the box but not only did I want it with the box I wanted it sealed so here I go I'm happy I can sleep now thanks <laughs>